This is our tow vehicle, which is a 2014 Toyota Land Cruiser 200 series. We bought it brand new, uh, and obviously all the additions we've done ourselves. So it's now 2000, just gone 2021. It's only done 65,000 on it, because it is a touring vehicle for us only. It's not a day-to-day. -day. Uh, so yeah, I'll give you a tour of what it has. So starting at the front here, we've got the ARB bull bar. We've got the Firelight driving lights. They certainly aren't the most expensive on the market. Uh, Firelight does have a meaning. I'll let you Google it to find out what it is, but it's quite funny. Um, yeah, not the most expensive, but they're plenty good. And for the two hours a year that I use them, uh, absolutely fantastic for what I need. Here we've got the Warren Magnum 2K. In the six years we've had the car, never even pulled it out. The traction control on this is so good that uh, I haven't had a use for it. It's also got ARB air lockers front and rear. Again, in six years, never even turned them on. Never had a reason to because the traction control is so good. So under the bonnet, uh, it is fairly stock standard under here. Over in that corner, I do have the ARB compressor, uh, just a single compressor. I've changed the batteries uh, to little higher amperage batteries. And we've got the billet race, race craft diff breeders over on this side here. Um, but apart from that, it's fairly stock as far as what you see. However, in saying that, I've done the Richards Auto Electrical ECU remap, the Richards Auto Electrical Transmission remap, and the Transmission Mock-Up Kit as well. And that has made such a difference to the car, especially when towing. It's got a lot more power to it, combined with a three inch exhaust as well. Um, and uses less fuel. So very, very highly recommend the Richard's, uh, whatever you call them, upgrades, which is really good. Over on that side, I went with the AirTech Snorkel from TJM. I preferred the look of that one as opposed to the Safari one that comes over the top. On the side here, we've got the ROH alloy wheels uh, and I run tire pressure monitoring system as well which has certainly saved our bacon a few times without having an absolutely destroyed tyre. You get a notification from that that something's wrong well before you would actually feel that something was wrong yourself as well. We're running the Bridgestone Jeweler AT D697ATs, uh, which have been a really, really good tyre for us. They're good on-road, they're good off-road. Uh, we did get one puncher on the Fink Desert uh, track and that was from an old railway spike, so anything would have gone there. But apart from that, we've been really, really happy with, with these tyres. As for the suspension, we are running the Lovells GVM upgrade kit. Uh, so the new GVM is 3850 kilos. And with that, we've also got uh, new upper control arms. I've also got a diff drop kit as well. And in the back, we're running airbag man uh, airbags as well, just to help with that leveling when the caravan is in the back of it. I've got the Gen 2 clear views on as well. They've only just gone on for this trip, so really, really good mirror. Very happy with them. I've got these cheap Chinese cheap ship roof rails. I only put them there because I like the look of them, but I certainly wouldn't put any weight on them. Uh, I even get nervous when I step on the step and pull myself up with them. But they have lasted this long, but for 110 bucks for the look of it, I was happy with it. I wasn't going to do too much else with it. Coming around the back, nothing too much. I've got the caravan camera here that I'm doing up now. Got an Anderson plug, obviously the normal seven pin hitch. We run the stone stomper for the caravan, which I can very highly recommend. Absolutely fantastic. In the back, got a 12 light up here, which is super bright at night time. It's really, really good. Um, in the back, we run a 35 litre Waco. We've only got a 55 AGM battery that's running that with a Red Arc charger uh, off the main battery, but we've never been low on battery. We've also got the Travel Buddy Marine Oven, uh, which is really good. Very happy with that. We had one in our old car and it actually caught the car on fire. That's more to do with the wiring that was put in by the installer uh, as opposed to the oven. So this one we got installed by a proper auto electrician and it's been absolutely wonderful. Track Tech is the maker of our drawer. So he did all of this back compartment. I gave him all the details of what I wanted and uh, he built it, so large big drawer. In there we've just got a couple of spare air filters, ARB, 
uh, hoses. This is our little camping kitchen, so to speak, for when we're on the road, uh, which just has normally plates in it. Don't know where they are. And stuff like that. Toolbox, other bits and pieces. This shelf here I made specifically to fit two of these. Uh, so it varies what we carry in this. At the moment we've got beach towels and bathers. Uh, sometimes we carry extra food, sometimes it's extra blankets, sometimes it can be anything and everything. Uh, so, but really, really helpful. After we hitch up all the van, usually need to wash the hands, so Velcro here, uh, soap. And we've got on the front of the van, I'll just show you quickly. Over here on our van, we've got our tap raised up nice and high instead of on the drawbar. So you can just easily wash your hands and then we'll keep a towel in the back just so you can uh, wipe your hands before getting in the car and driving away. Got a cargo barrier as well, of course. At the back, I carry all our recovery gear. Again, I don't think that's ever been open in six years as well. Um, and down the side here, there's a great little storage space just for some stools. And we can get four stools down there, which is good because there's four of us. Um, they're only little stools, but they do us fine just for sitting around at lunchtime and stuff like that. So that's pretty much the outside, the inside. Inside we run the sand grabber mats. Now instead of the plastic ones, I got the uh, cloth type ones just because they're a little bit nicer. Uh, we run the MSA seat covers, which have absolutely been brilliant. Uh, we've been running these for six years. We only washed them the first time um, after pretty much six years and they came off a treat and absolutely the seats looked fantastic underneath, like almost brand new, or well, pretty much they were brand new because these have been on since day one. Uh, and with two kids in the back and the amount they eat and drop and whatever, the seat covers were a disaster, but they came, <laughs> Ollie's giving me the finger, uh, but they came up absolutely fantastic when they were washed like new, so very highly recommend that. Not too much different on the inside, Ollie, you can jump in there. Uh, this is a GXL, so I did get this little phone thing fixed uh, with my job on, on the phone a lot, so I just got this little thing pushed in. Got the ultra gauge here, caravan camera, We've got a tire pressure monitoring system there that you can see scrolling through. And next to that, we've got the HEMA navigator. Uh, down on the edge here, we've just got the clear view fold in, fold out, and the Richard's Auto electrical buttons as well, which we don't really have to touch, and our Red Arc Tow Pro. In the middle, we've just got not a lot that's different, really. Uh, the UHF is on the left there, um, which is really, really good, which is an ICOM unit, hidden unit whatever they call it you've just got the mic there with all the buttons on it and my aerial is on the roof attached to my 110 dollars plastic fantastic roof rails and it's really good uh, they say that you should get um your aerial up nice and high and uh it's really good there i can get fantastic range out of it amb uh, amb arb compressor switch at the top which obviously we use quite a lot airing up airing down Beneath those are the two lockers, front and rear air lockers, as I said earlier, never touched them. Well, I've touched them, but I've never actually switched them on. No need, so what a waste of money that was. All right, just thing I keep in here, obviously water bottle, sunscreen, and I keep gloves, because the one thing I hate is rocking up to a petrol bowser, pulling off the diesel thing, you get diesel all over your hands. So yeah, I do wear a glove when I um, fill up and the wife loves it as well because she hates the smell of diesel and so do I, it's just gross. So I'm getting that all over your steering wheel is garbage, so just a few little latex gloves on the side there. Hot tip from JC. In the back of the car, as I said earlier, the MSA seat covers. We've got the MSA uh, rear seat, whatever you want on travel buddies, for the kids to carry their essentials. Um, more so when they were a little bit younger, ski bags, but not needed so much anymore. And in the back, I've also got a four outlet cigarette lighter that I've had installed, uh, just because the kids run heaps of devices, iPads, iPhones, whatever else they run as well. iPods, they used to run iWatch. Apple Watch. Whatever. AirPods. AirPods. 
everything. So, so there's four outlets there, and normally we've got a two-pronged outlet for each one, so there's eight devices that can be charging at any one time. Got the sand grabbers at the back for the boys as well, which work really well. And apart from that, apart from window tinting, it's all stuck. So that's our 2014 200 series. We've nicknamed it the 200, which is pretty boring, but that's what it is. Absolutely fantastic tow. Absolutely fantastic tow car. We really love it. Ultra reliable, and uh, it's been really, really good for us. So there you go. There's our tow rig.